Welcome to the Path to Purpose interview show, where we share our unique and universal stories about finding and fulfilling our purpose. My name is Katya Rosanen, and I'm your host and mentor for Lightworkers. My intention for this show is to inspire you on your path to purpose. Today, I have a pleasure to interview my fellow co-authors from Teach Your Expertise book, Antonio Van Pecker and Craig Lee. They are the founders of Self Help Institute. For 25 years, they have been using their signature core talk therapy to guide conscious entrepreneurs and business owners towards successful completion of their goals and dreams by asking simple questions and getting life changing answers. They love helping clients get past overwhelm, procrastination, self-doubt, and chronic health issues so they can have the business and impact they deeply desire. I'm so excited to have my dear friends here and find out more about their path. And I will also ask their best tip on how you can start accelerating success. So let's get started here. So welcome, Antonio and Craig. I'm so excited to have you here. Oh, so good to be here. Thank you, Katya. It's wonderful to be talking with you. So I know I explained your expertise in a couple of sentences. So could you please tell a little bit more about you and please also share your location so that we can put you on the map. Yeah, so we're a little bit north of San Francisco, but if you go 10 miles north and then 10 miles west, so we're on a big piece of land that sticks out in the ocean, uh, kind of between San Rafael and Point Reyes in a little town called Nicasio. More, mm -hmm. more horses and cows than people, <laughs> <laughs> which is really fun. Yeah. So yeah, we came out here uh, 20 years ago uh, after we'd started our uh, healing business and we really wanted to uh, accelerate our impact in the world and to bring our healing to many, many more people. But we didn't know that quite at first when we moved here. We were more concerned with our four generation household and seven people that all moved into each, in, in, with each other from three different <laughs> into houses. Into each other. Oh. Yeah, wow. So that took a little bit of sorting out. But in that time, uh, we continued working with clients. So our work is really designed to be able to focus on what people's needs are in the moment and to be able to really uh, to, to tap into their body's wisdom that's guiding them and giving them very specific information on what to do next and why what's showing up in their life is happening at the moment. So it's, it's very fun, uh, simple but not easy, and uh, we love doing it. Yes, and I have had actually pleasure to visit your beautiful home. I just love the landscape there. It was very, it's, it was like a retreat just to visit your place. It so, really is. so that is the beauty of the work that you do, the healing, self-healing and supporting them to get the results when the entrepreneurs might be stuck on their journey. So was there a special event that led you to this path? Oh, there's been so many, so many. Different, <laughs> different things. The first thing that happened way back when we started was really a physical illness that Greg got. And I had some issues too. And we used this healing to heal our bodies. And then opening our healing center and teaching the the therapy that we learned teaching the certification course having a ton of students we realized wanting to impact more people and that was when we realized oh my gosh we don't want to just heal heal people all the time we want to help people learn how to heal themselves and as we continued on our journey we realized as we went through you know, different things with our family. Our daughter got sick at one point, and then even just recently, <clears throat> our son-in-law died, and many things happened, and we realized just so deeply how people can get off track. That just happened 
a couple of months ago and we really felt oh it was so hard to get back up and get the motivation and get the feeling and the you know that desire to keep moving and to keep feeling that resilience and it really reminded us of how so many people and with the everything that's going on right now in the world how impacted people are by the fear and the anger that comes along with certain situations and you know we have these big fires that are all around us right now and i've noticed you know still how distracting that is and we have to continue to use our own tools and what we teach other people to do for themselves to keep that equanimity and to keep just resourcing our own resilience and our own inner strength and calm and knowing that no matter what happens, we're gonna be okay. And that we can keep going and that we just do the best we can, but we can source that inner, inner knowing and all the guidance that's around us to keep showing up and to keep being ourselves and to keep being that light for other people around us. And that's what motivates us right now in the midst of every, all the crazy stuff that's going on mm. so that we just keep showing up for people. And it just reminds us how important that is. Thank you. And thank you for sharing your personal journey and your personal experience that, and I'm so happy that you keep showing up because I know the power of your work. I have experienced that personally. And now I would love to ask your opinion. So why do so many people get stuck? Why do they get have all this struggle when they are creating the success they desire? What's yeah. happening there? Yeah, I, I think what happens is people get stuck in the story of how they feel. So kind of in the history of how their brain and their memory of the events that have been difficult in their life, our brains are always trying to uh, protect us. So 60 to 80% of what our brain does in any moment is predicting what's going to happen in the next moment to try to keep us safe. And when it does that, our vision of what's happening in the moment, our our kind of recollection is taking all of those memories and trying to build, why is this happening? What did I do? What's going to happen next? And what happens is you're kind of at the, at the uh, uh, you don't know uh, what is going to happen next. And your mind will go to a place that it, it is, it's more comfortable with, uh, to a place where it, is able to recollect what happened before and what happened might happen now. And I think what happens so much with people is that they don't include their vision. They don't include their desire of what they want that would give them direction and a vision of something other than what their brain might be leading them towards. So it's kind of like getting distracted uh, by the worst things that have happened to you in life. Mm. And, and I think it's, it's just not very fulfilling as far as it doesn't give you the, the ability to uh, insert your desire and your intention and your will and the destiny that you're really looking for. And that's so true. I mean, I know I found myself in younger years, you know, getting, uh, and I wouldn't say distracted exactly, but it is distracted in your present day, but worrying about the past and stressing about the future, right? I would always be doing one or the other. And it's like, okay, if we can stay in this moment and realize right here, right now, that's, you know, it's usually pretty darn good when you're just right here looking at you, how beautiful you are, Katya, and right here, right now. It's just, lovely and how lucky are we and just feeling grateful i mean that's where i've been coming around to even as the fires are like five miles away and you know the u.s is having so many crazy political stuff i just say you know what though 
I'm so grateful for everything that we have. We're safe, we have food on the table, we have beautiful relationships, and that's what's important, and that's what I just keep remembering. That's beautiful, and I can so relate. I spent years being a prisoner of the past, and living in there so that was tough because it was the crack what you mentioned like just having the comfort place the, what your mind was used to do going back to this same old record in your mind and also thinking that this will happen again and now if somebody's there like okay i will also confess i might be there thinking the same thing and they have inspiration now to do something different so that they can create the future they they want so beside contacting you that would be my first recommendation of course to contact you but what could be a first step that they could take so that they can accelerate their success yeah I think it's really all about tapping into the body's wisdom of what it's saying and what you're feeling. So the awareness of what you're feeling in the moment, and usually those things that are most difficult are the things that we try to tamp down the most. Mm -hmm. And as we do that 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times in our life, all of a sudden we're not being able to connect with that wisdom that our body is bringing towards us through the emotions and the feelings that we have in the moment. So really awareness, taking a breath, how do I feel? What, am, what is the emotion that comes up right now? And then being able to ask, wow, is this something that's happening right now or am I reflecting upon something from the past? Yes. Yep. And is that reflecting on the past all of a sudden influencing my behavior of what, in, what I'm doing right now, right? If I'm pushing against those bounds, the, that comfort zone, which we're all trying to do as entrepreneurs, right? We want to push that comfort zone so we keep moving on our path. But when we do that, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, that looks kind of scary. You know, I haven't been on such a big stage. I haven't done, you know, this funnel before, or whatever we're trying to do. And so then we react, maybe we're reacting in fear and that's a lot of it. And so connecting with, oh, I am pushing my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You know, yay me, I'm doing that. And, oh, this is scary. Oh, what does that remind me of? oh, that was the time when I got in trouble for blah, 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 or whatever happened when I, maybe I pushed my comfort zone and I failed, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why they put erasers on pencils. But we just have to keep trying and so, okay, I get it. And looking at <clears throat> where did I succeed? Mm -hmm. And bringing oh. that moment, right? I did succeed, I'm good at this. You know, this is what I do like breathing. And that's how we feel about our work. If we found what we do like breathing, that's what everyone's genius is, right? What is so perfect for them. And just ask the universe, what am I really, what, what am I natural at? That's what I asked. Uh, years before we started, we found our work, I kept asking the universe, universe, what am I natural at? And all of a sudden this work showed up. Mm -hmm. And so that's a really good question too. If you're wondering, well, why is this such a struggle? What is it? Well, maybe you're not doing what you're natural at and what your total genius is, but you got to connect. You got to feel what you feel. That's what's in, that's why we're in bodies is so that we feel what we feel and we become aware of our feelings, thoughts, and beliefs. And so that's step one for everyone is to really be human, be in your body, be do, <laughs> do the, the thing on this earth that we are here to do, which is feel and realize why we're feeling it. Mm, so powerful like be human and be aware as well that that came forward from there like be aware of what's happening and where your mind is going is it here now and then like feeling those feelings 
and allowing yourself to tap into your expertise. And one of the powerful way is to ask questions, ask and you shall receive. You received your answer and you found your expertise that you are sharing more in the Teach Your Expertise book. So I'd love to share now with the audience that what can they find from your chapter? Yeah, I think what, what really was interesting in, in writing about our journey in creating uh, an online program was that it was that thing where there was so much that we wanted to teach and that we wanted to be able to, you know, introduce people to and, and how we wanted to change their life that we took everything that we'd ever done and tried to put it into a program, <laughs> into one program. And, wow. and, and, right. and even though we had, uh, you know, course development experts helping us and saying, no, no, let's take half of that away. <laughs> even after we thought we'd taken most of it away, it was this huge, what is now our certification program from the ultimate self healing system. And uh, so as we chunked that down and really looked at how can we serve people in a way right now where they can take a little piece of what we offer that will be a huge thing for them to kind of have a huge aha, uh -huh, a big shift, and a transformation that leads them to the next step. Because it's all about the next step and how you move through. So in our chapter, one of the things we talk about is, is what do you do? What is, you know, we have three hints in there of things that you could do. So it really is about taking action in the moment, not getting stuck, allowing yourself to really move a little bit at a time. And I think it's what we really learned in writing the chapter. And our thing together is all about working together as a couple mm -hmm. and being able to work through compromises, mm -hmm. uh, being able to work through, you know, relationship um, challenges that uh, not everybody has in the same way. But people, as they're going out into the world, really do, uh, it, it's, it's like, what happens when you start to grow. So, and, and I think uh, the beautiful thing about as you uh, start to develop your online programs, you really start to realize, wow, I have some great things to offer. And then to take and just let it distill down into a couple things that are gonna be really useful for people. Yes, I, I so totally can ag agree on that, like narrowing down what you are teaching in one program, because yeah. I know your expertise, you could <laughs> be teaching years <laughs> to share everything. So that's the skill there as well, what to put in. Mm -hmm. And I know you are offering a gift as well as a part of the book that you can actually find the link below. So click there and you get the amazing book that comes with the gift. So what is your gift? Yeah, so our gift is called Three Common Blind Spots That Sabotage Your Success. And it's talking about some, a, a little digging deeper into what we've been talking about here because we all have, I mean, a blind spot is hard to see, right? And, and mm -hmm. it's, sometimes it's very difficult to see what we're doing that is moving us away or, or um, you know, getting in the way of us taking those little steps forward because you got to take steps forward every day to reach your goals. And when we put we have these blind spots and it's like, I, I always tease about cat videos, you know, and that people go and look at cat videos or now I'm like incessantly looking at the fire, <laughs> you know, tracker and all the, the news reels or whatever. And so those are the things for me right now, it's so distracting. And so instead of getting my work done, I'm being distracted. And that's one of those like, Oh, it just creeps up on you. And so for me, that with that distraction was like a blind spot for a long time because it was, I didn't really notice how much I was looking at my news, you know, picking up my phone every 10 minutes or five minutes just to glance at something and put it down. And when I really started looking at that, I was like, wow, that's actually a lot of time. And that's actually 
distracting me from my greater purpose. And so we don't actually talk about cat videos in the, <laughs> in the, uh, our gift, but we do talk about these behaviors that we have that get in the way. And the common ones about maybe, why is it that we're not attracting our five-star clients? Mm. Or why is it that we work so hard and we put so many hours into our business, but we don't feel like we, we're ever on top of it or that we, can, we always feel behind. We can never get ahead. So th there's a couple of things that we've noticed in our 25 years of working with people, the top three blind spots. And so hope that you guys dive in and it's what you can do about it right now to start alleviating that behaviors or those temptations sometimes and move forward towards your goals. That is a powerful gift because that will help you to gain the awareness about those blind spots and see if you have those three common ones. Mm -hmm. And that way you can then start shifting. So if you want to discover that gift and learn more about Antonia's Incorrect, click the link below and get Teach Your Expertise book where 20 entrepreneurs share their journey of putting packaging their expertise into your online program. And that is such an inspirational journey to read all these stories. So I highly encourage you to click the link below and get your copy now. And now we are coming towards the end of our time together here today. And I want to just open up if you have a special message that you would like to share with the audience. I just wanted to add that I forgot to add a after you get the three common blind spots, we're offering a total success strategy call with us where we can help you figure out what some of these blind spots are and how to move forward personally, how an individual assessment of how you can move forward. So wow. I just wanted to throw that in because we have that as well. Oh, good that you added it because that is super, super valuable. And I highly encourage you to just take Antonia and correct for that offer because they are amazing on the work that they do. So if getting that as a gift, wow, that's incredible. So now then it's like final words if you have some <laughs> before we wrap up. Uh, I think the final words are continue to go for it and really feel what you're feeling as you do that. The things that look like mistakes and uh, bumpy roads, they're really the information that our life is giving us of how we can transform those difficult moments into our golden opportunities. And as we start to love ourselves more and accept and be compassionate about what we're going through as we're growing, we'll be able to learn and, and give ourselves what we really need in the moment so that we can move forward and serve the people that we're here to serve and to do the thing that we know so deeply we want to do in the world. Beautiful. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being here, guest today. And I so value your work, all that you do. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for watching the Path of Purpose interview show. If you want to have more support on your journey, join Light Focus Who Succeed on Purpose Facebook community, where we inspire you even more. And I hope that you are staying well. I'm sending you loads of light and love. Stay well and stay tuned for the next episode. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you.